Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, this topic today is going to be something that, <laughs> oh, it's probably going to take a lot of you people back to the years of 2004, 2005, and the years of 2006. And I have made many videos surrounding this topic. Screamers. Now, if you don't know what a freaking screamer is, I don't know how you haven't seen any of my videos. I have made many screamers. But basically, a screamer is this. I'll show you. This is what a screamer is. So, yeah. That's a screamer, basically. Uh, so, basically, they surround by a flash animation or a video, like back in the days, you know, you'll get a, a weird email, and you'll be like, huh, you know, from like a co-worker of yours, or just a random email on a whole, just a random email on a whole, and you click on the email, right, and then next thing you know, will be the infamous car video, or the scary maze game, and get you on, know, it scares you. Well, let me tell you a little bit about <laughs> my very first ever screamer. So I remember this is clear, clear as day. Clear as day. I was coming home. I was coming home from school, you know, just trying to mind my own business. And then my brother came into my room and he's like, hey, I got this video I want to show you. It's It's amazing. It's amazing. And I'm like, okay, you know, no no problem, whatever, you know. So, he shows me this video. This car is going down the road. He got all this nice and calm sounding fucking music. And, you know, I'm like, oh, this is a really great video so far. Well, what is it? 15 seconds into the video, the fucking zombie from KFE shows up. And let me tell you, that scared the living hell out of me. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. So, for on and, and forward, he would show me a lot of other ones. Like, he would try to show me this one about counting, like, count your ABCs, your letters, or some shit. And then there's the Michael Jackson's ghost. One where apparently, you're live on CNN, or whatever, you know. And, of course, they're in Michael Jackson's bedroom suite, and... You know, but yeah, for a long time, this trend that was on YouTube, oh yeah, it, it would scare the hell out of me, you know? But for all the people that grew up watching YouTube around 2004-ish, 2005, or 2006, I feel bad for y'all. Because back in the day when YouTube first started, majority of every video that was on YouTube was those streamer pop-ups. And back in the day, it was so much more easier to prank people and scare people because if you really think about it, that's the first time that something's like that. Majority of the time, when you're expecting something to pop out and scare you, you know, the least you, you would expect is on the damn computer. It would be from a horror movie theme, like, you know, like a, a scary movie, you know? But... Yeah, and then apparently there's, uh, like, the first ever one that was made. Uh, it's called A Monkey on Their Backs. Uh, here's that one as well. They say people addicted to heroin have a monkey on their back. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's Monkey on Their Backs. So it's like... Yeah, there's just a lot more than, of course, you had the, the, you know, what is it, the Nightmare one. You would download it nowadays, it's supposed to hack, you know, fucking... It's basically, uh, there's just one that's called Nightmare. Basically, you would download this this thing, and it, would, and it would, like, act like it's totally fine. Then, I don't know, what is it, the first five minutes... It, this bleeding skull would show up and with this funny ass fucking scream. But um besides that though, yeah, that's 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 really about it. Uh just wanted to basically 
run down some of the screamers here, and, um, yeah, so, but, uh, that's, that's really about it, that was my first ever actual screamer I seen by myself, um, now, what was a screamer that I seen by myself that nobody showed me, showed me, my first ever screamer that I seen by myself, well, let me tell you about it. Throughout the years, I have seen many, many of these screamers. And now, as an adult, they're just funny to me. They don't scare me anymore. I can legitly watch, like, any type of screamer, and it won't scare me. But this one got me pretty damn good. I did not see it coming. So, I cannot find the video about it anymore. I have looked and looked and looked and looked, and I just, I can't find the video. But basically, one day I was on YouTube, a couple of years ago, and I was typing in Chucky Doll Reviews, because this is when, back in the day, that I wanted to collect Chucky merchandise. You know, I'm a big Chucky fan, a big horror movie fan, so I wanted to, you know, look for Chucky merchandise. Well, for some odd reason, this one video... Drew, drew me in enough, it just drew me in enough, it pulled me in, and I clicked on it, you know, and basically this, this guy or something in the video, he has this Chucky doll, and it's of course the ones from Spencer's, one of the ones from Spencer's, but he's, you know, for some odd reason saying we're gonna be, you know, playing hide and seek with Chucky or something, so I'm like, okay, this is probably gonna be some funny, hilarious ass video, right? No. No. So, I'm watching the video. Next thing you know, he goes into the bathroom. All the lights are off. I don't know what the hell's going off. Like, going on. You know, I have no clue what the hell's fucking going on. I'm like, why is it so dark on my fucking screen here? What the hell? You know? And yeah, next thing you know, like a couple of minutes later, the Kefi zombie pops up out of nowhere, and boom. That's the end of the video. And let me tell you, I, I that got me pretty damn fucking good. And then I went to school the day after. And I actually ended up showing some other people and getting them with that video, too. All I know is the video is a, a, along the lines of with uh, hiding or hide and seek with Chucky or some shit like that. And I don't know if the video is, so I don't really remember much of it. But I do remember the person, the guy that had the doll, he went into the bathroom, all the lights were out, I'm like, what the hell is going on? The next thing you know, the Kefi zombie popped up, you know, and I'm like, you little fucking asshole. So, besides that though, you know, and the thing is when, when I see a screamer, right, or I'm watching a screamer, it has to be something that totally catches me off guard nowadays. It does, because I know majority of all the fucking screamers that are out there. I have seen majority of probably every fucking version, every, you know, one that has came out. It has to be a screamer with a very good setting, something that will just totally catch me off guard to still get me nowadays. And my thing is, I've seen so many of them. And they just don't get you anymore. You see it so many times, it just doesn't scare me anymore. Like, I can legitly, right now, full re reaction like this, I can play the Kefi car commercial right now, and, like, yo, it, it's not, it's not gonna, it's not gonna scare me. Like, I can legitly show, I can, okay, look, watch then. Watch. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this was the first ever screamer I actually seen, like the first ever one. And to prove that this is legitly not going to scare me anymore, here we go. So, here we go. I got the volume turned up a little bit, so, here we go. Oh, come on, I don't want to show a fucking goddamn ad. It's bullshit. I got away, I got away, hold on. I got away. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, you know. Oh, it's gonna be so scary. Uh, blah, blah, blah.
I'm sorry. <laughs> that didn't do fucking anything. That literally didn't, that didn't do anything. I have seen the Kefi, the Kefi ads so many times. Fun fact about the Kefi ads, by the way. Oh, okay, that caught me off guard. I didn't realize that, okay. Okay, that caught me off guard. That got me there, but I didn't see that coming because I didn't realize my thingy was on that. But, um, yeah, so fun fact actually about Kefi. Well, let me turn this around. So we're back to the video. So fun fact about Kefi. A lot of people probably don't know about this, but probably a good majority of people do. So there's this coffee uh, beverage uh, thing going around in 2005, and the brand was called Kefi. Well, you just seen one of their videos there, and basically, their their campaign was a wide awake campaign. So basically, the jump scare would simulate the coffee, you know, hyping you up, energizing you. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what the jump scare was supposed to be. Well, people that thought that was like the only video they made or something, no. They made a total of like nine other screamer jump scare uh, commercials. And if you're wondering, I never seen these commercials like today. Well, you know why? They were only released in Germany. Yeah. So people down here in the US, that's why you never seen those KV commercials. Because they were only released in Germany. So yeah they had they had ones about a guy fishing. They had ones about uh what is it? Uh one I think about uh yoga or some shit. You know, just just many of them. And then somehow, some way, I don't know how in the fuck they did this, but somehow, some way, they got them to be on the radio in Germany. Now keep in mind, apparently I heard in the U uh in Germany, not UK, but in Germany, uh People can go fast as fuck. There's no speed limit in some places in Germany. So if you want to go 200 miles per hour, you could fucking do that, I'm, I'm guessing. Well, just imagine you driving, right? And then this non-speakuous ad pops up. Ah, Christmas time again at last. And we all have such wonderful childhood memories. Pretty little crooked houses with chimneys puffing out trails of smoke. Ah, oh, yes, and the icicles glistening in the moonlight all around. The snow crunches softly under our feet, and when we come into the cosy warmth of our houses, they smell of delicious baked apples and freshly baked mince pies. And oh, how excited we are when we finally, finally hear the sound signaling the arrival of Christmas. Ah! Ever been so wide awake? Davey, can't coffee with coffee. Yeah, and I think they had a total of three ads of those, three. So, very, very weird, let me just say. Very weird and... At first it was funny, but then you think about it, you made all these other ones, and then somehow you get them on the radio. You, look, you cannot fucking convince me that at least one crash hasn't happened. You can't convince me. I'm damn pretty sure that somebody crashed, you know, going probably 180 to 200 miles per hour in fucking Germany. Next thing you know, that unspeakuous ad pops up, and they go, ah, you know, fucking drives off the curve or some shit. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm honestly pretty sure there has been one incident, and luckily the person has survived, but I, I'm, I'm honestly pretty sure. So, but, besides that, though, um, that's really about it. That's, that's it. <laughs> Looking back at childhood trauma. This is what this video is going to be called. Looking back at, back at the childhood trauma. Yeah. So, what a video, huh? What a video.